For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a review slash demo of the new Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Celestial Odyssey palette. This is the unicorn and it comes in so beautiful. I am a little bit late on reviewing this palette. I think it came out about like two weeks ago. But alas, it's here. I asked you guys on my community tab if you guys wanted to see this palette in action. And if you guys haven't seen my previous video, if you guys don't know, I did receive this palette broken. At least one shade was broken, so I had to return it and buy it again. And it came here just in time for me to do this video for you guys. So this is Pat McGrath's Holiday 2021 palette. And this is my first holiday palette I've ever gotten from her. And I know she's had a previous one. If I find pictures of it, I'll post it right here so you guys can see. But this palette is completely different from that. I've seen a lot of people say that this part was a cardboard or yeah, I believe it was like a cardboard matte finish. And then now she switched it to this beautiful shiny metallic finish with her logo right in the center, which I feel like it's super gorgeous and does make it look a little bit more luxurious. And also it comes with these little tassels. I wouldn't call it tassels, but ribbons right here that connect the palette, the mirror to the eyeshadows, which if you don't like this, you can't always cut it off so it can extend fully. And this palette does retail for $78. You can buy this on Sephora's website or Pat McGrath's website as well. I don't know if she sells it any other places, but those are the only two that I know so far. And this palette does retail for $78. And this is a limited edition 18 shade palette of wearable hues and five luxurious next generation finishes. I'm so excited about that because I heard the formulas in here are super, super gorgeous. It's all systems go with fantasy including hues and delirious creamy textures that delivers extraterrestrial effects and five finishes. Sateen, shimmer, 24 karat duochrome, sparkle, a four metallic and velvety matte and an iridescent sparkle. Let your imagination take flight, embarking on a tech noir odyssey with incomparable blendability and buildability for eyes, skin, and beyond. Conjure iconic looks ranging from earthy, earth shine, splendor, to divine, otherworldliness. All shades are expertly collaborated to wear on every skin tone. So this is the second palette I know from her. I do have one of her bigger palettes, which is this one. This is Mothership to Sublime eyeshadow palette. And I, of course I still have the packaging because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me open it for you guys. This is her most expensive palettes. I believe they retail for like 125 a pop. And these are the machines inside this palette. Obviously, Pat McGrath is really well known for her formulas. Something about this palette really caught my attention. The holiday one that she came out with, so I had to try it out. And her stuff is really luxurious. Like, it's really top quality. This palette is $78, like I said. It's just the pans are a little bit smaller, so you get less product, which it's okay. I mean, you do get more eyeshadows in this palette than if you were to get the bigger palette. So if you guys are looking for a beginner palette, I suggest you trying one of these out. You get to experience her formulas and just completely fall in love with them. So I won't be doing swatches for this one because it's just too many eyeshadows to go over with. But I am going to do a demo, which I am going to zoom you guys in for that. So the first shade I'm going to take is this matte brown right here which is called Nocturne. So I'm gonna place this on my outer V. I mean, these shadows are super pigmented, so if you guys aren't familiar with Pat's formulas, they are super pigmented, but you do have to work them a bit. I'm gonna take this in the crease just slightly. And I did forget about to tell you what brush I used. This is the Morphe M433 brush. Now with my Morphe M330 brush, I'm gonna take this lighter brown shade right here. And this is, I believe, Exquisite Electric. Oh, sorry, I think that it's called Sun Rose Amber. 
grabbing a bit of that matte, blending out these edges. I am gonna try and use a lot of shades in this palette. Now I believe I wanna take this lighter pink shade right here, which is called Electric. On my Morphe Times Ariel A11 brush, picking it up just a bit to blend out this shade. You see what I mean about pigmented? Like these shades do show up even with a little bit of product. Just want it in there just to use it. The thing with this palette is that you don't get a lot of mattes in here, but it is definitely doable. And then with the clean brush, I'm just gonna soften everything up. I'm gonna go back in with that second brown shade that's in here. Now I'm gonna go in with that first shade. Just to deepen up this area again. Now, without cleaning up the lid, I want to go ahead and use the shade right here, Corrupt Copper. And probably dabble into this yellow one too, which is called Golden Galaxy or Gold Galaxy. So I do want to try using this with a brush. I'm going to pick up of that Corrupt Copper on my GH41 brush. Can you see how pigmented this shade is? Insane. So I am going into this darker shade we placed down, feathering it out. I'm gonna see what happens if I apply it with my finger, if it makes it pop more. Slightly, but holy moly, beautiful shade. Kinda wanna stop there and use this shade right here, which is called Gold Galaxy. I want to see how it applies on the lid next to this shadow. I mean, I can't expect anything less from Pat. Wow, that is pigmented. I'm using my Morphe M421 brush. Feather this into that cropped copper. I am going back and forth with the palette to really get a seamless gradient between the copper and the gold. Wow, holy mother of pearl. I mean, I shouldn't be shocked. Let's try with my finger. I mean, oh yeah. You still get the same effect as if you're using the brush. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use Galactic Glow, which is the shade right here, for an a corner and brown bone highlight. Using the JH42 brush. Going top of my brow bone. With a small brush, just lightly diffuse this right here. I don't care about having glitters in my crease. 
You can literally put a glitter shadow to your crease and it'll be all fine. Makeup has no rules. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Well, let me tell you guys, I'm already obsessed with this eye look. I love everything about it and I'm so happy uh, I'm doing this tutorial for you guys. So what I did for my lower lash line, I took the shade Norvina. It's like an emerald green blue. And I'm using my Morphe Sweet Oasis smudger brush. It looks just like this. Taking a little bit of that shade and I'm gonna place this on my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna pack it. Now with an eyeliner brush, this is my Morphe Times Madison Beer eyeliner brush. I'm gonna take some of that shade and now I'm gonna be creating like a reverse wing. Now with my Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill JH40 brush, I'm gonna take this shade right here just the second lightest brown. You know, I'm gonna blend out this emerald blue just a little bit. I'm gonna make this kind of smoky. Now with that same brush that we used to place the blue, I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit more. All right, you guys, and that completes this eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out. All right, you guys, and this completes this eye look. I am so happy on how this eye look came out. It's just super gorgeous. I think the copper is what really stole the show and it's making it like a fallish look. The shades in here are just to die for and I tried using as many colors as I could to use on my eyelids so we can see how they perform. So far, so good. I'm so happy I have it and I get to play around with this beautiful formula. Pat McGrath literally kills it with every freaking palette that she makes. This palette, as you can tell, did not disappoint me at all. For eyelashes, I did use my House of Lashes Iconic Lights for this eye look because I feel like it just flares out and it goes perfect with the reversed eyeliner that I made. So gorgeous, completed the whole look. What do you guys think about this eyeshadow palette? So far, it's a 10 out of 10. I love it. I can see myself using this a lot. And there's so much you can do with this. So if you guys want me to do another eye look, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a like comment down below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.